think a major issue for the global 5G market is operator capital expenditures, how much and in what direction it's going. In the U.S., at least that trend is down for the rest of 2023 and potentially into 2024. Now, for example, T-Mobile's parent company, Deutsche Telekom, is cutting its capex from $22.1 billion in 2022 to $16.8 billion in 2023. Now, that's a dramatic 40, 24% reduction. And so specifically, uh, DT indicated that in the U.S., they are looking at a strong decrease in capex throughout 2023. Likewise, Verizon is cutting its CapEx from $23.1 billion in 2022 to $18.25 billion to $19.25 billion in 2023. And that's a sizable 19% decrease. And currently, only $17 billion is projected for 2024. So as a result, Verizon spending most of the $1.75 billion of the $10 billion that was allocated for C-band CapEx was used in Q1 2023. So clearly, Verizon is part contributing significantly to this downward trend. Now, of the big three U.S. carriers, only AT&T is maintaining near consistent levels with only a slight cut from $24.5 billion in 2022 to $24 billion in 2023. Now, at and is continuing to invest in 5G and fiber over 2023 to pursue long-term growth opportunities. However, to be of note, at and is hedging somewhat because of macroeconomic conditions if they get rockier could trigger potential dial back in their spending. Now, interestingly, at and T-Mobile, and Verizon all reported decent to good Q2 2023 earnings. Now, the change in the CapEx picture can benefit the financial picture of the big three. However, for the suppliers to the U.S. big three, the 5G environment has become challenging. Uh, we've seen players such as Ericsson, Nokia, Crown Castle, even Corning having to adjust their expectations for the rest of 2023. So it is a bit of a contrast here. And we'll cover this later on, is the fact that the big three U.S. carriers actually all reported decent Q2 2023 earnings, whereas for the suppliers, it's been more challenging. And Todd, from your perspective, what are you seeing in the CapEx picture that is notable? What's going on, for example, in other parts of the world that caught your eye? In Europe, a Vodafone has outlined significant changes in, in its roadmap for the coming years. They're making a lot of changes. Vodafone at this point, they're reallocating investment in FY24 toward customer experience and brand, um, 150 million euros and 100 million euros respectively. They're moving money away from hardware to customer, customer relationships, which is a really important thing in the mobile field, I believe. Um, they also have plans to cut a billion euros in costs by 2026, which were announced in November of 2022. Again, you, they're, they're moving toward the people aspect rather than the hardware and technology aspect. I think that's significant uh, for a Vodafone to do that. There's a, a zillion users in Europe, and this is actually reflecting what they're looking for, what they need. So I think that's an important thing. Um, the other thing that I thought was interesting, China Telecom, for instance, um, they have uh, changes, their changes this year, CapEx on industrial digitalization, including cloud, AI, big data, digital platforms, they're increasing those by 40%. So while China has a huge number of users, they're going to be bringing more uh, hardware and more services and, and software to help their customers, which is probably what the demand is in China, I would say. Yeah, in fact, I think uh, what is uh, being underlined here is that for the most part, the major operators, the top CapEx sources, are basically looking to cut costs continually. And one way to do that is to uh, shift resources to put more emphasis on CapEx, but also to you know streamline their systems to quite simply make them more efficient. 
And one key way to do that is through automation and also using AI engines. So naturally, I'll be keeping a close eye on how this is progressing. Uh, this is something that I think will benefit customers, uh, most importantly, but also I would say the entire 5G ecosystem because it will deliver better experiences and also enable the workforce of the uh, major operators to focus more on developing just that, you know, those valuable experiences, uh, making uh, the billing, for example, uh, more user friendly. And I think we're going to see that in some of the uh, results that we'll address uh, a bit later on. And so I think, yeah, these are the, uh, the key takeaways, even though the CapEx picture is going down, at least in some parts of the world, uh, we're still going to see some important spending in some key areas that will keep you know, things very interesting. India, for example, is going to be, I think, a significant source of CapEx uh, over the, uh, the rest of this year and into 2024 to offset you know, the significant U.S. declines.